We close today the octave of Sacred Heart of Jesus. This whole month is dedicated to that sweet and loving heart of our crucified Redeemer. And when our Lord died on the cross, in the eyes of the world, it was a painful and disgraceful death. But that was a death filled with love and also death uh, which was suffered for the sake of love. That's why one of the reasons I like Sacred Heart devotion is so much is that it's perhaps the most Catholic of all of our great, in our great treasury of devotions. Coming from Protestant background, it was so rarely that I heard spoken about God's great and infinite love towards mankind. And in these sinful times we are living, it seems that sometimes we have a little tendency to forget how immense that love is, which our Lord's Sacred Heart has towards the whole mankind, even towards those who hate him. At crucifixion, uh, our Lord, our dear God, he proved and showed to everybody that love is indeed stronger than death. That heart which beat with love for all men, it was now dying and was then dead. But in three days our Lord would resurrect and show that death is no more and will be no more in each of us case. He has defeated sin, he has defeated death. Innocent lamb has been slain so that we who are guilty would be redeemed. In order to, for us to die a good death, we must do as our Lord Jesus did, that is to resign ourselves entirely to the will of God, and secondly, to love him, to seek love him more and more each and every day. In order to enkindle this great love in our hearts, we should remember what it cost to our Savior to redeem uh, us. So will not we, therefore, make at least some effort to love him back and save our souls. We are called to love Jesus. We are called to love Mary. Saint Paul, one of the great apostles and the great missionary preacher of our Lord's love and redemption, he wrote to the Galatians, that namely that he, my Savior, hath loved me and delivered himself for me. How have we, therefore, loved him? And St. Paul also has a word of warning for us, if our hearts should ever be in danger to grow cold to our dear Lord's sacred heart. St. Paul warns, if any man love not our Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema. We should take these words into consideration and understand that we can never put ourselves into danger of losing our dear Lord's uh, uh, save, uh, saving grace and his redemption, which cost him so much. In order that we could go to heaven and enjoy his infinite love, not just in passing time on this earth, but forever in heaven. We should try, especially when we are looking at the crucifix, to awaken in our hearts a deep love for our crucified Lord. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.